from Drakensink. Hey, what's up? This is Drakensink with a new gameplay video. This time I'll be showing a game called Alien with a Magnet, high def version, HD. It says right here. I got contacted to do a video for this game from the developers, Rejected Games. So let's go ahead and try it out. Go to options first. It's a think puzzle platformer. And it's a the graphics are like flash animation 2D. It's available. I'm playing this on PC, but it's available on iPhone, iPad, you know, all those mobile devices. And also on the Mac as well. I disabled the music. Um pretty loud. No, um, no, no volume slider bar, so I'm just gonna leave that off, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and go play. You can also play with the controller, but there's no official support for it. Well, I don't see it, so I'm just gonna be playing with keyboard and mouse setup. You can um, adjust the controls when you start it up, but when you go get into the game, there's like no control adjustment thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and play with keyboard and mouse setup go ahead and start adventure nice graphics collect diamonds looks like you have to go to each world or something click on each world and then I was flying around in the I'll be skipping the cinematics all right you saw a really interesting um, cinematic but let's go ahead and start First steps. First steps, select the tutorial, I guess. Press and hold spacebar to use the magnet. Okay. So you're supposed to collect all the stars, it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And you control this little spaceship guy right there. Spaceship with an alien. I don't know what kind of alien that is. And pressing space will um, magnetize the spaceship to one of these planets. Who has a planet? Got arrow keys. Looks like this game is mostly designed with the um, for mobile devices. But you can play it on PC as well. But yeah, this looks like it's mostly geared towards the mobile devices. Like maybe you're bored somewhere and you just want to pop out a mobile device and start playing something. Burn some time. Guess that this is like a bonus or something, bonus objective. You collect all the um, all the crystals. Yeah, high score, thirty-two seventy-three. Getting your feet wet. Looks like this is still tutorial. I don't know. It'd be nice if there's like an announcer or something, like saying like what you do. Oh, nice! You grabbed this amount of stars, or like, oh no, you crashed, crashed into a planet. You know, just announcer, announcer in the background or something, saying what's going on. that thing. Looks like you have to go around collecting these green crystals. Oh, you got different different designs as well. Christian work right there. So it's not always a circle. Be nice if there are like some enemies around here, you know, trying to shoot at you. That'd be interesting as well. Just a variety. Maybe later on there there'd be enemies and obstacles. Right now, still the tutorial stage, I guess. The levels get bigger and bigger. Collecting these stars. I don't know why you're collecting all these stars and crystals for. Maybe um, after like a certain amount of stages, you can use these stars, all the stars you collected, and I don't know, buy some, buy a new spaceship or something. Like buy upgrades and stuff like that. So you don't have any weapons right now on your spaceship. 
I don't think it's a, um, those type of games. Not too violent. Mostly for, um, little kids. Casual gamers. No blood and guts if you're into it. Just grab something. Times two, maybe that's the um, amount of lives you have. Did I see that before? Times four. It would be nice if you like ho hover over some of these and it s explains what it is. Cause I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Got some background, different layouts to show different planets and stuff. Let me see if I can bump on these things as well. Nope. So it looks like before the white ones you can bounce them bounce off of them and these are rocks so you cannot. So it gets a little bit more challenging now. So hopefully there's like a web not a weapon shop but an upgrade shop or something. Maybe you can upgrade your ship or something. Because collecting all these items there has to be a reason for it. Oh, come on. Try the other way. Huh. I don't think so. I did not want to try the other way. I want to grab all those crystals over there. Thanks, but no thanks. I will try grabbing these. Nice. I did it before. Just kind of get into that little cup over there. There you go. Grab. All your, I'm gonna grab everything that I can. Who knows what they're used for? Oh no! Come on. All right. So you got two ways you can go now. That's interesting. Blue or green? Blue or green? You got a star on the left or a six on the right? I'm gonna go with the star. Let's go. Finished. Oh, I missed one crystal. Right there. Okay, you little... I'll get you next time. Okay, it looks like the star is a bonus stage, maybe. Because you got number six right here, and then six, seven, eight, blah, 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 over here. Then you got these little stars on the side. The blue, um, I don't know what you call it. The blue finish line. Got stars. Bonus stage, maybe. Big bouncing pillows. You don't exactly need to grab everything. You can still... I think you can still complete the stage without grabbing everything. It's just your total score will be different. But you can pretty much complete the game. I think only with only grabbing like one crystal. Or the stage. Yeah, there's a bonus stage, it says right there. What are those blue arrows pointing at? Pointing at the um, green crystal? That's what it looks like. Oh, no, no! Oh, no. So there's no way to maneuver your spaceship <laughs> after you um, release the... Uh, release the button. Interesting. So how is he flying around then? Been using... Gravity only? Because I don't see any... Yeah, there's a little green thing following him. Right there. That looks like a boost or something. To make his spaceship fly. So... I don't know why you can't control your spaceship. Like move it from left to right after you release the magnet. So that's interesting. Alright, looks like there's a little unlocking thing right here flashing at me. 
So if you collect enough, looks like you have need 50 crystals. So that's what collecting the crystals are for. To unlock a bonus stage, it looks like. Click on that and then... Looks like 5.1, don't get hurt. Let's try that out. So that's the reason for collecting those crystals. Don't know what these stars are for. Maybe just to rank yourself. To get a high score. Don't know if there's multiplayer or not, like maybe two, three, four, five sp spaceships on the same map. And then there's a time limit. You're racing against each other to collect all the um, items. That'll be an interesting idea. But yeah, this is mostly geared towards mobile devices. So you can just pick up and play. Like, you don't have to get into to spend a lot of time getting into a story or something. And you don't need like a super power computer in order to play it. That guy is really getting annoying. Sleep on the bed. <laughs> Don't get hurt. Ah, oh, come on. So what are these things for? Times two. So what if you accidentally go towards somewhere else? Maybe you can press pause and then it'll rewind or something? Let's try it out. Okay, go towards those rocks. Pause. Continue. Three, two, one. Oh, never mind. It does not rewind. It'd be interesting if there's like a rewind button up there. Rewind, pause, fast forward. It just pauses the game. Yeah, depending on where you are. So even if you're um, heading towards rocks, there's no way to stop it. Maybe later on you can upgrade your spaceship with like a rubber front. And then maybe you can bounce off the rocks. Maybe one or two times and then it gets destroyed. But then, you know, you collect those stars for like, I don't know, money or something. Then use for... That has to be, there has to be a purpose for them. I think that would be much more interesting. Instead of just, you know, going around collecting stars all day. So, let's see what that... Big man right there. Let me go grab that one. Come on! Oh, I missed it. Nope. Alright, so pretty, I guess, okay game. There's no way to like zoom out to get a, a wider zoomed out view of the map. That would be nice too if they can add that. Because maybe maybe there's like I don't know if there, there's only like this amount of levels or maybe there's like a huge gigantic amount of levels. So if you can zoom out then it'll be much better. Looks like progress five, six, seven, eight. And then there's site, site uh, maps, point two, point one, stuff like that. Bonus levels with the stars. Doesn't look like there's a item shop or a upgrade shop. So collecting all those stars is just to get the best score. I mean, it would be nice if there's like a the, like a purpose for collecting those stars instead of just getting the best score. Maybe you can use it to upgrade your ships. Or, I don't know, unlock maps, or get a sidekick, you know, stuff like that. 